We move on to the men's category right now. And took me the stand against New Zealand, the New Zealand men's team this time. And I must say, this team, uh, well, in their first game, they were large and absolutely in charge. There's the Turkmenistan team right there. And New Zealand with a very, very tall team. No wonder their men's senior team is called the Tall Blacks. These guys are no different. Very skillful athletes, strong athletes as well. So this is our second last game of today. The, the next game will be between the hosts, Malaysia, who stunned Japan, the men's team, earlier. And then they'll be taking on China, the defending champions. And China could have won that first game, but they lost it by one point to Japan. So New Zealand, can they keep their momentum going right here? Taking on a uh, Turkmenistan team who need a win as well. Moors, the big fella. Good rebound there by Turkmenistan. Kick out. Ooh. Very, very courageous there by Napizov. Uh, Napizov is, is one of the more reliant shooters in this team. And every team needs one. It's the eye, an easy rebound there by the guest, who's also was in the shootout contest earlier. The guest stepped back to Zipov. Downtown. Making a change straight away. New Zealand sending on O'Connell, number six. That's Matthew O'Connell. O'Connell, swing to... Number 13, their big guy, Moores, lost the ball there, White. Ooh, rushed to chase two for the close down, and they punish from downtown, gets the two-point shot. And full credit to, to Pakistan. Once they hit the shot, getting back on defense straight away. That's how Moores, very, very strong right there. But can't get intimidated just because he's big, and they've got to make smarter play run smarter offensive sets than that because New Zealand guys are quite big. Moores again, hard to stop. James Moores, 2.5 meters. But the Turkmenistan team just trying to up the tempo, glides to the basket. Good move there by Yevgeny Nasipov. When New Zealand hits straight back, anything you can do, I can do as well. Fake, puts it up, falls way short. White clears the ball to Moores. Moores, good pass. Moore, Moores feeds it to White with the finish for White. Great pass there by James Moores. Posting up. Nasipov, Nasipov drives, and it's in. O'Connell, Moores. It's New Zealand ball. Good pressure there by Turkmenistan, New Zealand. But the major question is, can they just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them right until the very end? O'Connell, the guest. The guest, oh, excellent footwork, but couldn't finish. Behind the back, pass by White, the guest. The guest! Brings the crowd to their feet with the hammer. Hey, look at him. He's just looking calm and composed. Yeah, I just did a slam dunk. Yeah, no worries. But boom. Rattles the ring. Nazip off. Off balance. White. White, four with a two. Knocks that down. Thomas White. Nazip off, the leader of this team, talking to his team, telling him, to, guys, 
the space out and gets under the cup. De Guest. De Guest, step back to De Guest. Yes, what can this man do? Big and strong and can shoot as well. Tukbangistan trying to throw everything at, literally. Putting the ball up. But they've got to penetrate. You can't just rely on shooting all the way from the corner. Well, if you have shooters like that, you can. White. The Turkmenistan team look a little bit jaded and lost a bit, but they just need to keep pounding away. No basket does not count. TV timeout. Have a timeout to think about it, as the referee would say. 10-4 in New Zealand. New Zealand not in complete control, but you got to say they've got the ascendancy on this one. Look at that. Started off okay for Turkmenistan, but then New Zealand just went into second gear, especially from their bigs. Max the Guest and James Moores. They're two bigs. They're playing like the China women's team who in the last game were very reliant through their two bigs. And what can you say when you have that kind of size and power? It's like stopping a tractor. Jason Kidd once said that about Shaquille O'Neal. Put sugar in his car so he doesn't come to the stadium. Turkmenistan. Got to control the ball. They've just got to do the simple things right. Spin. Puts it up. That's much better. Again. Yevgeny has... Nazipov really, really carrying this Turkmenistan team. You know, looking like a frustrated figure out there. But, he, I mean, based on the way he's playing, he's a player for the future in world basketball. Easy basket there by James Moores. The big fella. I'm going to call him the shark because he's so big and strong and quick. And he'll punish you if you're not on your game. The guest. Can he do another dunk? The guest. The guest. Oh, he had us in excitement there when he glided to the cup. He's such an exciting athlete to watch. Nazipov. He's also a good athlete. Great basketball player. Carrying this team. Trying to do everything. Shoot. Attack. And also rebound. But these guys looking a bit rattled against this very, very big team. Very strong New Zealand team. Really know what they're doing. Moores, Moores. Good kick out to the corner. White. Misses that one. Got to protect the ball. Thomas White hustling. Nazipov for the two. Air ball. Seven point lead for New Zealand. If they win this one, they stay undefeated thus far. Hand off the guest. Moore's up oh, turnover right there. That's a rare mistake by the New Zealand team thus far. They are human. The guest, top of the key. Just trying to stay with. Again with the easy layup to lay it in. This is really just like watching a block there by Moore's. I was just about to say, like watching a real, real heavyweight battle that. The heavyweight boxer it's a block again by New Zealand. White, nope. They got got to clear the ball. At one point, I thought the referee was saying shot clock violation, but he's saying clear the ball, get back. O'Connell, O'Connell. Out the guest, the guest, the guest. That's the second duck. This man just loves to fly in New Zealand style. Nazipov. The guest having his way today. He must have got must have done about four or five dunks today. And this is only the first major day of real of the competition. The guest. Look at that skill, those skills by New Zealand, their players. Ocon, the guest. Shot clock violation. Four minutes and four seconds left. The New Zealand women's team earlier playing for survival, and they've survived. The, 
the New Zealand men's team on the hand, very contrast, very controlled very much their last two games. O'Connell, that's a foul right there. Ooh, hope he's okay. Looks like he smashed his hip into one of his, the opposing players, or his oppo opposing player. So timeout called, three minutes and 52 seconds left. New Zealand up by seven points. And then the one more game straight after this between the China men's team and Malaysia. Malaysia will be full of confidence that they defeated the Japan team who defeated the China team by one point. So that's going to be very interesting. But if I learn anything about the China team last year, the defend, the one that won the championship, the 2017 championship, right here in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, they didn't start very well as well, but they really, really turned on the afterburners when it counted, and they won. Big team as well, some massive athletes. Couldn't believe they were very young men. White. So it's okay to say that, yeah, you got the win in the pool stages, but it's what you do at the business end of the tournament that really counts. Block again by New Zealand. They've had a high number of blocks in this game. And but from the baseline, Moore's with the easy rebound. Got to clear the ball. Did he clear the ball? Yes, he did. O'Connell, O'Connell, he's quick for the runner. Gets his own miss. And there's contact there, he was saying, but <laughs> doesn't really matter right now. I mean, Turkmenistan just trying to make the scoreboard while well, the score as close as they can, just try to chip away at this New Zealand lead. Turnover right there, but they've got to protect the ball. It all starts with protecting the ball. White, look at White. So, what a move right there. These guys really know how to play this New Zealand team. And their defense is solid as well. The guest. The man who loves to dunk. The guest. The guest. The guest. He is taking off. He should work in an airport. And just fly. He'll have a lot of frequent flyer points. Because this man loves to fly. No joke. Our editing team is going to have a lot of fun editing his reels. Because it's just the Max the Guest slam dunk show today. Absolutely fantastic. That's what we love to watch. The oohs and the ahs, not just from the blocks, but from the dunks and the big, big shots. And we've had all that today. Nope, didn't clear the ball. And we've also had that as well. Don't forget, these are young athletes. Sometimes young athletes get carried away and forget to do the simple stuff, which is clearing the ball in this case. Two-point shot. Max the guest. He'll go for the two this time. Will he fly again? Nope. <laughs> Lost the ball. But will he get the ball back? Moore is playing defense. One more. In and out. And New Zealand lost the ball. That's a rare turnover by the New Zealand boys. And look at the scoreboard. It's only New Zealand up by five points. Turkmenistan is not at all out of this. It's just... New Zealand have just got a big advantage. They've got guys with rocket shoes who can fly. Most notably, Moores and De Guess. And De Guess is taking a breather. The Turkmenistan team are saying, oh gosh, please take a breather. Please sit out for the rest of the game. Two minutes and two seconds left. New Zealand up by five, but this is not a foregone conclusion as yet. Sending the screen there, Turkmenistan, crossover. Draw for the runner, tried to work glass. Number 13, Yevgeny Nazipov. And quite like the courage of Ismail Arazmamedov. There's a long shot there, O'Connell. White. The guest, oh, he's back on. He didn't listen to my advice. O'Connell for the two, in and out and in. That's how, that's luck favoring you there. 
there's Ishmael. Ishmael, lanky athlete attacks. Oh, well done, Ishmael. Ishmael, Aras Mamedov. The guest. The guest. The guest. Ishmael, step back for the two, hits the tin. Back tap. The guest, fake. Thought about the step back too, just taking his time. O'Connell, he's quick. He flies to the cup. There's a block right there. Good block there by Anaguli. Sorry, Yevgeny Nazipov. Nazipov with the ball right there. Nazipov being guarded heavily for the two. The guest with the ball. He's got to clear it. Right into a bit of traffic. The guest. And too strong right there. Very, very strong. It doesn't look like the bulkiest athlete, but he is solidly strong and hard to defend. Fake. Fake again. Puts it up. And, and go to the charity strike. Moore's coming back on for New Zealand. And so 13.8 seconds. You would say that New Zealand have got this one. That's, but Turkmenistan just trying to make the scoreboard respectable and you got to give it to them. They, they, they gave everything. They threw the kitchen sink at New Zealand. But New Zealand just very, very, a very, very good team. Good athletes. If you, I was a coach, I'd like to have athletes blessed with this kind of talent. A great finish there by Ozov. And that is the end of the ball game, everyone. New Zealand with another victory. Turkmenistan 13, New Zealand 20.